hello this is Frida welcome to my channel for today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this lovely lace fillet I just fell in love with it and I just wanted to share it with you so let's get started isn't this gorgeous I am going to show you how to crochet it I'm going to be following this picture as a guide for me as there's no graphic nothing just a picture and uh, I'm going to start from the bottom and then go up actually it's super easy but it's so tiny I need to have this bigger and I will work on that so grab your yarn your thread you can make it anything you want with this and uh, let's get started okay so I went through my stash and I found these uh, these are actually organic thread and they're not that thin just to point that out I bought these in Turkey years ago can you believe it oh my these are vintage actually uh, 1998 when I was there so I must have bought this before that think about it and I still have more in the house these were like skeins so I uh, made them into balls I didn't have my ba uh, ba uh, ball winder then, so I wind it with my hand. And I believe my grandmother helped me, rest in peace. You, she was alive, yeah. I think this is one of her. She passed away in 2003. She was 83 years old. Yeah, rest in peace. Uh, just reminded me. See how she did it professionally this must be one of my mines or i don't know i had people helping me because i bought so many of these anyways it goes on forever so uh, i'll just move these aside grab the appropriate uh it doesn't have to be a thread it can be anything you have in your stash it can be yarn you can uh, make it on an edge and sew it up a bed skirt you can make it anything i just love how it looks so let's get started. I'm just going to grab my crochet hook. Okay, so I grab my tulip uh, crochet hooks and I'm going to go to the small uh, crochet hooks here. And uh, let me grab the 2.5 and see how it's going to work with that. Just to be on the safe side because I don't want to use a smaller crochet hook than this because it's caught and it will shrink. Okay, so uh, I'm going to chain long chain i'm not gonna i need 34 um double crochets so and i would chain three between two or three uh, between so i'm just gonna chain as loose as i can just like this and i'll be right back Okay, so I chained pretty long chain. And I hope it's enough. <laughs> so I'm going to chain extra six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on the six, I'm going to make a double crochet. Just like this. So I'm going to chain three. Yeah, this crochet is great. So it matches this yarn. This thread I have, it's a lace uh, yarn, number one, I believe. Okay, so I chain three, and I'm going to skip one, two, th on the third, I'm going to make a double crochet. I'm going to chain three, skip two, and on the third, I'm going to make a double crochet. So I'm going to make a total of 12. And I will meet you on the 12. So continue crocheting like this. Skip two on the third. Make a double crochet. Don't crochet it tight. Because then it will uh, it wouldn't look good. See this? Uh, I did one of them loosely. See how it looks? And one of the chain is loosely. But that's okay. It will shrink. I'm not worried about that when it washes, you know, cotton, this is 100% organic, especially, it will uh, shrink for sure. Okay, so I'll continue crushing and I'll be right back. Okay, so I done. 
here we are this is how it looks like so on the 12 i'm going to make i think there's uh four double crochets so what i'm going to do is on each single crochet uh, on each chain i'm going to make a double crochet so i'm counting this so one two three and four and i'm going to continue making three chain skip the two and on the third make a double crochet so i need to make total of 21. so i will continue crocheting and i'll be right back so three chain skip two skip two on the third make a double crochet And I'll be right back okay so I continued crocheting where we did the four double crochet here and then I crocheted crocheted actually I've just finished my 22nd 22 so I did my 21 and I did my 22 double crochet let me shrink this a bit <laughs> and then I'm going to chain uh, six so one two three four five six turn my work and ma make make a double crochet on the next double crochet here with this i'm going to crochet about nine of this so this this part after this is going to be super easy sorry about the noise i just put a rug in the washer machine bathroom rug bathroom <laughs> Can you see this? if you hear the water how oh, it's pulling the water yeah so i'm going to chain again three yeah after this it's super easy we just do fillets we just fill it in that's all we do so total of nine uh, nine and then we're going to make this little um lacy shape that you saw in the picture okay so i will uh Continue making them and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a total of nine. I'm including this chain as well. So two, four, six, eight, nine, and I'm going to chain three. Instead of uh, making a double crochet, we're going to make a single crochet on top here just to create that nice uh, lacy look and then chain three again. And then uh, just continue making my... Uh, double crochets all the way here and then we're going to just repeat what we did make four double crochets on each double crochet and then we will finish this row so i'll be right back so i'm back here and i did my three chain so i'm going to make double crochets on each of the double crochet And then I'm going to continue doing three chain, one double crochet on each, all the way. And then I'm going to turn my work again. And then uh, when I come here, I will make a double crochet, six chain, and I will turn and I will come back to repeat this. Again, we're going to do uh, four double crochets on top of the double crochets. And I will meet you here, right here, that we're going to do something different. And I will show you, because there's nothing else to be done. And I'll be right back. I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I have crocheted like this. And I'm here where the lacy part is. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to skip all the way here to do that. I'm not going to chain six. That would be too loose. So what I'm going to do is I have three chain here and four then it would a little bit to be tight chain five and then jump here and make a double crochet just like this so on the next row we're going to be making a single crochet in the middle and pulling this up and it gives that nice uh, lace look so i will continue crocheting 
that's all I do here nothing on this part I will do uh, fillets just fill it three double crochet uh, three chain one double crochet three chain one double crochet that's all I do and when I turn my work I do my six chain and uh, do my double crochet and make my six uh, chain just to give enough room because uh, I am going to be washing this with my hands and it will shrink that's why I want to give enough room that's why I'm using uh, I am chaining three instead of uh, if it was a polyester or acrylic yarn I would have uh, chained uh, two because uh, this have uh, this being uh, cotton yarn organic especially <laughs> it will shrink and I know it's going to shrink and uh, that's the reason I am making this uh, doing this one two three see try to ignore doing this we don't want it that loose it doesn't look nice I'm already a uh, I, I crochet loosely and um, I don't want it loose enough one two three just wanted to show you how to do the turnaround so I won't come and show it to you every time new beginners you are welcome to do this it's very easy one two three four five six turn my work and then make a double crochet on the next double crochet so the three would be considered as a double crochet and then the uh, the rest of the three is the three chain so i will meet you back here and i will show you how to do that and now we're going to be making um just looking at the picture so i will uh, after showing this i will come and show you how how what to do here i'll be right back so i am right at that uh, part there so i did my three chain and then I'm going to make a single crochet in the middle and then make one, two, three chain and then make a double crochet. Again, we are creating this nice lace look. Doesn't this look nice? <laughs> Sophisticated. So I'm going to continue crocheting. I have uh, nothing to do. So I will meet you right here. Okay, so I'm right here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain three and then we're going to make we're going to fill this here right here so we're going to fill it one two three and then one on top of the double crochet so it looks like it's supposed to be four so I'm going to continue crocheting all the way to the end now we're going to do an increase here so we're going to make ladders it's going to go up we're going to increase by five uh, double crochets like this so one two three four five so we're going to increase like this just like this so I'll meet you right here and that's all I do three chain double crochet so from here I did my last double crochet I'm going to chain okay to chain to make the five I'm gonna go three times five is 15 so one two three four five oops sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay right here okay so on the six I'm gonna make a double crochet so two four six right here chain three skip two on the third make a double crochet my laundry room was upstairs sorry about if you're hearing water the washer machine is pulling water one two three skip two on the third make a double crochet one two three 
and then make a double crochet on top of the double crochet just like this so two four well with this it would be five this looks like a pretty big gap doesn't it it's okay so I will I will be right back okay so I have crocheted here another one and the third one and from here we're going to make double crochets so we're going to make a double crochet here fill it fill it fill it fill it and then there's three double crochets between so three double crochets in the middle and one top of the double crochet so this is one this is the second I hope you're not hearing my washer machine okay I'm just gonna fill it and I'll be back because it's pretty loud okay so what I did is I did one two three four I filled it there are three double crochets one double crochet on top of the double crochet and I did one two three here as you can see now I am going to fill this right here two three four five and then I'm going to do gonna repeat on each all the way here and when I come here I'm going to do three, uh, five chain and then skip here what I did on this one. So I'm not going to come and show it to you. So this is the same. I'm going to be repeating over and over. So I, when I will come back and uh, we will uh, do uh, some stuff here differently. So I'll be back. So uh, this is how it looks like. It's going to be wider. And I'm planning to hang this on my window. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back okay so i finished another row and i came back can you see it let me turn it on the other side i think this is way better you can see it sorry about that okay so i did the lace part this is all i do i do five chain and i skip and on the next row i do three chain single crochet three chain that's it's the two row repeat one after another to create this lace now this is the May. So now we're working on the leaves right now. So I'm going to chain three, jump here, and then make a fill this here right here. And then the leaf is going to move a little bit further this way, the leaf edge, to give that nice look. Okay, so going to chain three. One, two, three. And jump here. And then I'm going to fill this right here. One, two, three, and then one double crochet. Just like this. Okay, chain three. Jump here. So the leaf uh, again one two three chain jump here and then fill this one two three you can do two I'm doing three okay so I'm going to crochet all the way here and then we're going to shorten this part so and uh, I'll chain three and jump here and I will fill this uh, I, I will crochet this rest and I will come back and show you the next row okay so I'm right here where the leaf is so what I did is I did my double crochet three chain and I skipped so I skipped one uh, fillet one box so I'm gonna fill this all the way here 
and I'm gonna fill this fill it here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain three and then do my five double crochet and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue crocheting one box and I will meet you right here on the second because we're going to create a new leaf right here somewhere and I'll be right back just need to fill this it takes time other than that it looks nice and uh, it's pretty soft it's not thick at all because it's been organic and it's been vintage I never used it it's been sitting in my stash for over two decades now <laughs> I'll be right back okay so I uh, I went and did two instead of three filling in because I've been noticing it's getting bulky so I think the two instead of filling in it with three is better see how it looks it's kind of pulling this way I don't like that okay so uh, from now on I'll just do two instead of doing three but I will do three here for these uh, branches just to give that thickness for but for the leaves and other thing that I've been crocheting so many I will do two as it, it's getting too much double crochets okay so I, I'm right here and I'm gonna make one two three four I'm gonna fill these and then we're gonna start a new uh, leaf and after that I'm just gonna continue crocheting and coming back and then uh, I will show you how it's done there's nothing else to show here. It's just that I need to fill in the four boxes here. Two, three, four. For this uh, counting over and over. I don't want to make a mistake. That looks like four. And it's really hard because the picture is so tiny. And uh, as you can see, this is the uh, best picture that I found. Other than that, it's yeah. So I'm going to do two instead of three. Other uh, and it's a uh, folded uh, so it's really hard and there's no gra uh, diagram graphic to uh, crochet this and I saw this years ago actually two years it has been in my must-do list <laughs> two years can you believe it at least two and finally I said this year I'm going to just jump into it so I gathered the yarn a couple of months ago I pulled them out of my stash, put them in a basket. One, two, three, one more. And then I said, this has to be done. I have to start it. I'll just do one panel and show it to you. And then you just repeat it over and over the long, the length that you want. You can make this on bed skirt, window panel. One, two, three, four. That is my uh, idea. Uh, my goal is to make it on my... Uh, windows I, I have small windows in my bed bedroom and then I have a pretty decent size in my craft room so uh, I will just use up these uh, thread one two three four okay so I'm gonna continue crocheting and when I come here I'm gonna chain five and jump here and when I turn around uh, I will do three chain one single crochet two three chain so I will meet you right here when we're going to uh, decrease it. We're going to move one uh, bo uh, bo uh, box here and then move up here to uh, make the leaf. And I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead. <laughs> so uh, what I did is I skipped one, one empty box, and I filled it. And I went and then I filled here. So uh, we're creating the leaf and I chained three and I filled my uh, branch here and I chained three and uh, this is the other leaf that we were doing. So I just went all the way and uh, I left three. So one box I created. So a crochet, double crochet, three chain, double crochet, three chain, double crochet. Now we're going to fill one, two, three, four here. And then when I come here, we're going to do what we did here we're going to increase so we're going to chain 15 and then plus another six chain to go around as you can see can you see like i remember i said this is a huge gap but as you the more you crochet you will notice the gap will close so just repeat what i did 
and then as you can see it looks nice it's not uh, going down because I fixed this problem here I'm, I'm putting a uh, less double crochets otherwise it was going down like it was pulling it towards this because um, when I do more double crochets that's what happens so we just need to fix that problem and I will do uh, I'll just show it to you so I did my double crochet instead of doing three double crochets in the three chain I will do two just to uh, give that nice straight look uh, when we're finished you're gonna wash it and uh, iron it right so uh, it will look nice but uh, we don't want it to change shape have it change shape okay so this is how I'm doing so this is two and this is the third box so two double crochet between and then I guess so this is the last one two just like this so we created another leaf now I'm just going to do my increase here chain three make my double crochet chain three and then make a double crochet on the third chain just like this I go between that V and then I'm gonna chain 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 Okay, and then another six chain one two three four five six and then make a double crochet where we hold our hook and then three chain skip two on the third make a double crochet one two three skip two and make a double crochet on the third one two three do i have more than i should i don't know what happened here yes it looks like because we're supposed to have yeah there's a gap here can you see because if I do my third double crochet, there's a huge gap. I think there's five. I didn't count the previous one. One, two, three. And then make a double crochet here. Yeah, can you see it's a huge gap? So I must have done something wrong. So there's two, four, there's six. So I need to chain three after the 15 chain so I will fix this and I'll be right back it doesn't look good this is too much gap okay so I went and I fixed it instead of chaining 15 chain 12 and then six double crochets just to fix that two four now I have five two four two four five yeah two four five hmm this is odd let me just recount this yeah it's supposed to be two four and then five so i have an extra here okay i need to fix that okay i'll be right back okay so i fixed it i'm having a hard time uh, it's getting wider as you can see Okay, so I fixed it. There should be six chains here to give this nice turnaround. So don't forget that. Just to be on the safe side. So you need to do three double crochets and then six chain. That's very important to give that room. So we're, what, we're, what I did is I gave a space here and I'm going to fill this all the way here. And I'm just looking at the picture again. Just a double, yeah, and then I'm going to do double crochets and then skip these. And then the branch is going to move towards this. So I'll be right back to show you. 
So I will just fill this all the way here and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have done this part, filled this here. And what I done is I did one, two, three, four. There's a bit of a gap, but there's nothing else to do. So I am going to do the branch here. I'm going to move it towards here. So fill it here. And I'm doing three because this is being a branch. And then one top of here, chain three, and then jump here. Just like this. And then the leaf is going to be filling here. So it's moving up towards here. And then I'm going to leave a, a box here. So I will do that and I will be right back. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So I did the leaf. I moved it towards this way. And I put a box here. So I'm just going to continue crocheting back and forth. Just don't forget to do the lace part here. Just a random five chain for this row. And then when we come back, we do a three chain, one single crochet, three chain. Okay, this is for every, you know, row. Don't forget this part. It gives you that nice uh, lace look. So when I'm going to come back on the next row, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do three double crochets all the way here. I'm not going to do uh, anything on this filling. Just do um, fillets, uh, three double crochet. Uh, well, I'm sorry, one double crochet, three chain all the way here. And then the branch is going to move towards this way. And then it's going this way, as we, as you can see. So uh, I will come and meet you up here to show you what to do. We're going to fill this uh, branch here. And then the leaf uh, we're going to start working on here. Right here, I believe, somewhere. And I'll be right back to show you. Okay, so I finished the row and I came back. I did the lace. Don't forget that lace part. So what I did is I filled in. I did fillets as uh, to create the boxes. And I moved my branch here and I did three double crochet just to give that thickness. And what I did here is I did um, two fillet, uh, two boxes, as you can see. Now I'm going to fill this all the way here and then leave a one box and finish it and come back. And I will show you what to do from there. Okay, so I have started the row. And I did my decrease, so I'm moving towards here, and I filled this part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and then move the branch here. Crochet on top of the double crochet. Okay, three chain. So I'm going to make three double crochets here just to give that thickness on the uh, for the branch. Uh, I checked it on the picture. It's hard to see how many she did. So three chain, jump here, one, two, three, I believe there's two uh, boxes here. It's hard to see because uh, it's folded. <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, okay, so right here, I'm going to make the symmetric. Symmetric means... When you fold it, it's going to be like this. So I'm going to create a leaf. So it's going to be like this. Just the opposite of what we did here. To do that, I'm going to chain just double checking here. Okay, so I just double check. So there should be two. Uh, Right here, there should be two uh, 
double crochets like two boxes so one two with well, three boxes include this one one two three so here i'm going to just fill it in so two double crochets just like this just to create that uh, look to make a leaf and then two double crochets where the three chains are one double crochet on top of the double crochet and two chains where the three chains are just like this and one more and then i just continue crocheting after this and when i come back one two three so when i come back the leaf is going to move uh, towards the uh, this way so we're going to do our increase here and then do the decrease here so we're going to create a box here and then fill from starting from here okay so i will finish this part and i'm just looking at the picture again and uh, i will come come and show you here right here is going to be a uh, finishing this uh this is going to be the last i think we already finished it. it's two four now four rows so when i come here the branch is going to move here so we're going to do the filling here and then put a box here and i'm just going to continue crocheting and uh two four see if you can see every four so here we're going to be uh, making another box so it's going to get uh, wider and then when we come back we're going to uh, just crochet straight all the way here and the branch is moving here on top like that and then the leaf is uh, it's going to be like an arrow to give that look that's all we're doing so i will come back and finish this uh, pre next row and on the following row i will come back and show you how it looks like so that's all i'm going to be doing uh it's just that time consuming it takes time right so uh i will finish the two row and i'll come back to show how, show you how it looks like other than that other than that it's just a symmetric like we're almost done on for the middle and when we finish the middle, it's a symmetric, which we, what you do is what we did. <laughs> so uh, I will come back to show you after the two row and I'll be right back. Okay. So this is how it looks like. <laughs> so I already did two rows and I'm doing the third row. The last time I was showing you and I'm having a hard time fitting this on the screen. So let me see if I can, uh, yeah, it doesn't get bigger than this. I can pull it back, maybe. Yeah. It's uh, getting wider. But, um, so I'm not going to be doing in any more increases until we have the main flower done. So, what I'm going, what I did is, as you can see, I remember I said you have to do the symmetric. So, when you fold it, it's the same. That's the trick. That's how I figured out to do this uh, <laughs> uh, pattern because uh, there's no graphic, nothing. I just studied it, the picture, and tried to figure out how to crochet it. And if you look at these, these leaves look like they look alike, right? So we're creating another leaf, which is going to be looking like this. So what I need to do is I need to fill one, two, three, four. And I'm double checking. Yeah, four. I'm double checking one, two, three, four. It's really hard when I try to make the picture bigger. So I'm going to fill this four and then I'm going to continue crocheting and I will come back. And when I come back, I'm moving the leaf same like here. So I'm just doing the same what we did here. And this branch keeps on moving towards. So uh, after I finish this row, next row, it's going to move here. 
when I come back, it's going to move there. But uh, while we're here, I'm just looking at the picture. So uh, we're going to create the flower here. Yeah. So uh, on the next row, we're going to start making the big flower. And then uh, I will come and show you to start the flower and uh, what we do is when we do half of the flower you just do the symmetric and that's all and you just repeat this over and over but I will make a, a number two part two uh, uh, video just to show you how to do the rest because uh, it's not easy when you look at the picture <laughs> and I did some changes if you look at it uh, it's really hard to see but I did some changes just to give that nice look and uh, I will be right back to show you how to make the flower here. We're going to set it here. And uh, I'll be right back. So I have crocheted this row. I did my branch, moved it. And I did one, two, three. Now we're going to make the flower. Okay, so what I, we need to uh, fill one box, two box, and then chain three. And then again, fill two box. So total of four box we're going to fill and there's going to be a space between. So I'm going to do two double crochet and then one double crochet on top of the double crochet. So I fill the first box. Now I'm filling the second one, two, and then the third, one, two, three. So I skip to the next one. Just point out that this I can't believe how good this thread is <laughs> it's super soft and it's a dream to work with my goodness so I'm filling two more so when I was in Turkey last year 2019 they did not have this yarn this thread they had it in cones half a kilogram cones okay so I have done this so we started the flower so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue crocheting all the way and then coming back and I will show you how to do the next row of the flower and uh, I'll be right back okay so I am where the flower is what I need to do is I am going to fill this all the way from here to here two double crochets in between that's all I'm gonna do so we are this is going to be the flowers petal and I will fill this and then I'll be right back okay so I have done this filled it in now I'm at the branch I moved my branch now I'm doing the leaf which is going to be less here so I will create a box here and I will come back and on the next row what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the leaf further here and then no branches to crochet and I'm just going to repeat what I did here and then I will go all the way and then I will come back and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be crocheting these on top and then we're going to be making another petal here. So I will come back and show you how that is done. Other than that, that this is all we do. Lots of crocheting involved. So I'll be back on the second row. Okay, so this is how it looks like so far. I did this row and then I did this part. So this is almost in the middle of the flower. Okay, and I finish this leaf so when I come back I'm gonna start a small flower up here and then we're coming in the middle of the big flower the rose here that we have okay so this is how it looks like so uh, I will finish this row and when I come back I will start the small flower here and I will show how it's done and we're almost finishing the middle of the uh, one panel half of the panel 
and then what you do is you just uh, crochet the other half and then you finish one panel I'll be right back okay so uh, <laughs> I started the new uh, flower right up here so what I did is I filled in three uh, boxes now here I started a new uh, petal for the flower so we're going to increase that by filling these two and then nothing here so just making boxes and then again filling here and then I continue crocheting so here right on top of the uh, leaf uh, I created a new flower so I will continue crocheting all I'm going to do is do some increases uh, fill in these this box and this box including these nothing here just making boxes and jumping here and repeating what I did on it's, it's, this pattern is all symmetric so whatever I did here I'm going to do it on here and I'm doing nothing here and uh, all the way I will do uh, fill in the fill uh, crochet the double crochet and the three chain and when I come back what we're going to do is we're going to be increasing what we did on top of this so I will come back to show you that row and we're almost in the middle I don't want to go any much more uh, on my uh, tutorial because the quality gets uh, it doesn't become quality HD so I don't want to go over I'll be right back okay so I'm at the flower this is what I did I crocheted same as the above and what we're going to do is I need to fill these one two three boxes so two double crochet in between and one double crochet on top of the double crochet and I just repeat what I did on the other side of the petal and after this uh, one more row and then we're in the middle just like this so I chain three and I repeat this row and after that I come all the way here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the flower like this but I'm going to put a box in between so I will come finish this row and I will come back to show you the next row and that would be the middle and I will end this tutorial and I will come back for part two as uh, the longer it becomes the quality goes down of the video so I'll be right back to show you the next row and that would be the mid that would be the half of the petal half of the panel I'm sorry okay so I am on the half here right here so what I did is I uh, the petal moved a little further and we made the middle of uh, of the flower and then I crocheted all the way here and uh, the petal did the decrease and then this is right in the middle of the flower and then here's the other petal of the flower so this is the half of the panel so what we're going to do is I'm going to end this tutorial and then when I come back we're going to crochet the other symmetric side so it's going to be like this going up <laughs> It's the same way, nothing else, but I will guide to it. I will guide you guys how to crochet it. It's very easy. It's just that uh, the beginning was kind of tough because I, I wasn't quite sure about the uh, numbers and so on. So I will come back and I will show you how to do part two as this is the half of the panel so i hope you like this uh, short uh, well it's a long tutorial actually it's been 50 minutes and i will come back to show you how to do the rest of the panel and we'll finish it up and then you just repeat this as long as you want see when you hold it it will be like this you can make curtains you can make bedspread oh if you use a smaller uh, thread it will be smaller 
because because of the yarn it's, it's really wide okay i'll see you back in part two